this October 20th through the 22nd, TFCon Orlando at Doubletree by Hilton Hotel Orlando at SeaWorld with special guests Bob Budiansky, Victor Caroli, Dan Gilvison, Gary Chalk, Richard Newman, Alex Milne, David Sobloff, and Casey Kohler. Meet mediocre YouTubers, Bert the Stormtrooper, Deluxe Baldwin, Diecast Norbs, Engineer Hoist, Fire Talks, Ghost Prime, Kato's Collection, Patriot Prime, Rodimus Primal, and Treebot. If you see them, make sure and say hi. You'll most likely find them at the bar. That's TFCon Orlando in October. Be there! Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern box. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And when you visit ToyHacks.com, make sure and use my monthly promo code to save 15% off your order. So yes, 15% off when you use my promo code right here. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the video. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Evolution Bludgeon. Now, when I first heard that we were getting a brand new Bludgeon figure, I was so excited. And when they finally revealed the figure and he turned out to be the IDW comic version, I was crushed. I am not a fan of the IDW look at all. So, out of pure curiosity, I put a poll on my YouTube channel just to see which bludgeon your favorite was. And surprisingly, IDW got 65% of the votes. So maybe I need to look at this figure with a little bit more open eyes. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging. We've got Bludgeon himself right there behind the open window where you can reach in and mess with him if you'd like. Some great looking artwork of him in his tank mode, Transformers Legacy Evolution, Comic Universe Bludgeon, Transformers on the side. This side of the box features a up close shot of Bludgeon's face and a full body shot of him rushing into battle. Back of the packaging features product shots of Bludgeon in robot mode, vehicle mode, and Evo Fusion. This side of the box features the same legacy artwork that we've seen since day one. So now, without further ado, let's get Bludgeon opened up out of his packaging and check him out. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> New packaging, same product. Now, Bludgeon here is getting the Quick Looks treatment because he is a straight-up repaint of Legacy Evolution Tarn, except with a brand new head sculpt. This was also a big disappointment for me when this figure was first announced because I was at least hoping he'd also have his own mold, but no, he's a repaint. But he did at least come with this really cool accessory, this awesome looking katana. Bludgeon always wielded a sword in the comics and this looks awesome. Nice paint applications and the detail on the sword is fantastic. I love the looks of that. So let's go ahead and put that in Bludgeon's hand right there. So there we go. And another thing you'll notice is I took the cannons that I have on Tarn's arm and put them on Bludgeon's back. So. He looks a little bit different than Tarn. So, Tarn, go away. Let's take a closer look at Bludgeon. Now, the only difference between Bludgeon and Tarn, other than the color scheme, is the head sculpt. And as much as I do not like the IW, IDW look, I like the looks of that head sculpt. It looks really good. And if I can zoom in enough, see the details there inside the mouth? It looks like wiring. It's got the skeleton nose, red eyes, 
The helmet looks great with the horns right there and the paint applications within the crest and along the sides. I mean, it looks really, really good. Um, I'll admit it. I'm impressed. I like the looks of that. I just wish he wasn't on Tarn's body, but I guess all in all, it's not too bad. The collars just scream bludgeon with the orange, the burgundy, and the green. I mean, he looks really, really good. So you got me there. I mean, I, I dig it. He, he just looks villainous. And I guess if you think about it, why would bludgeon have a human skull face on Cybertron? They probably addressed that in the comics, but I quit reading after the first uh, series. So yeah, he looks awesome. I, I dig it. I'm impressed. So that's pretty much it for robot mode. I'll bring in Tarn once again so we can take a look at the two together. Now, if you want to see a full video review of this mold, check out my review of Tarn in the link above. So now let's go ahead and get Bludgeon transformed into his vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, Bludgeon looks really good. Tarn's tank mold actually fits Bludgeon really well. I like the tank mold more for him than the robot body and love the color scheme on this guy. Bringing in Tarn for some comparisons. So you can see right there, the only difference between the two is the color scheme. Now, if you do want to make Bludgeon look a little bit different than Tarn, simply add his katana. Move Tarn out of the way once again. Some places you can put the katanas, you can put here on top of the turret, doesn't really look good. You can put it down here on the side as the instructions show, or I like to place it right here on the rear of the vehicle. If I can get it in, it is a tight fit. There we go. So I like that look personally. So there you go. Once again, Tarn and Bludgeon together in their vehicle modes. Some definite heavy hitters with the Decepticon army. I really had my doubts about Transformers Legacy Evolution Bludgeon. I'm an old school G1-er. I'm stuck in my ways. I didn't really want to give this figure a chance, but I'm so glad I did. Once I opened him up out of the packaging, got to mess with him a little bit, got to really check him out. I like him. I think he's a great Bludgeon figure. Still, I wish he had his own mold but utilizing the Tarn mold actually worked out pretty good. So if you are a Bludgeon fan, like I am, I think this figure absolutely needs to be in your collection. I mean, he is 100% better than what we got in Power of the Primes. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!